Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and film my review of Venom 2018, the Sony Pictures adaptation of a comic book, the telling of Venom's origin without Spider Man being present in the story. Uh, Tom Hardy is the star. Same director of Zombieland. Love Zombieland. Great movie. And I really feel the Tom Hardy Venom is in the same caliber. It's, it's a really good non-MCU comic book movie. The effects. The cast. The pacing of the movie. It doesn't really give you a lot of opportunities to get bored. Um, there's a really good pace between dialogue and action. There's not a lot of scenes that are uh, like, you know, give you a chance to become disengaged. So it holds your attention. Uh, special effects are phenomenal. Sony definitely didn't spare any expense in that department. I thought the CG looks great. It, it definitely plays homage to the comic book world. At the same time, it's state of the art CGI, really, really good effects. And um, Tom Hardy. You know, as every role he takes, this isn't his first foray in the comic book world. He was Bane in Dark Knight Rises. And uh, just about every role that Hardy takes, he's a method actor. He really pours himself into the characters he portrays. Um, I first became aware of Tom Hardy when I saw him in Inception, you know, years ago. And then before that, I, I realized that he had been in Star Trek Nemesis as the clone of Jean-Luc Picard. And even in that early film of his career, uh, he's like 42-ish now. So uh, pretty close to my age. Uh, so Tom Hardy uh, really pours himself into the role of Eddie Brock and Venom because he voices the symbiote as well as himself when he's not full Venom. Um, there's a lot of controversy because he does not have the spider symbol. As I said earlier, this is a telling of the story where Venom has not encountered Spider-Man yet. So the producers and the director all felt kind of wouldn't make any sense for him to have the spider symbol if there's no run-in with Spider-Man yet. That's not to say it's not going to happen in the future. Tom Holland is very, very interested in working alongside with Tom Hardy in the sequel. And if there's a way to integrate Venom into MCU moving forward, I'm sure Tom Hardy would be all for that too. This movie did phenomenal internationally as well as domestically. In the um, there's not to say that there will not be Spider-Man and Venom on the screen together. This telling of Venom. It can still be done. So, the story is really good. You get a little bit of Brock prior to having the symbiote. Then he gets it and the movie changes pace. And then you, uh, you start to realize the other symbiote in the film, the main villain. The two main villains merge into one. And uh, Riot uh, was really good. Kind of like a mid-boss. You know, he's not... As much as we would love to see Carnage right off the bat, they can't just give you Carnage in the first one. You gotta, they gotta scale up to that. So they're saving Carnage for the sequel. Will we see a full-blown maximum Carnage style event in the MCU on the big screen? I would love to see it. My heart tells me it won't be the case. This will be com it will be a confined into the comic book universe style filming like most of Sony's movies. But uh, to have a combined effort with at least Spidey and Venom taking down Carnage, that would be great. So, I mean, I'm pleased as a lifelong, you know, I, I, ever since I was a teenager, when I first, my introduction to Venom personally was the animated series, The Fox Kid, and that made me go back and read about his debut. This year, 2018 in May, Venom turned uh, 30 years old. So it's the 30th anniversary, May of next year, make 31 years. This character, the first artist to draw him was Todd McFarlane. 
Um, the last, uh, let's see, the last cameo by Stan Lee. You know, Stan Lee's in it. That's another one since his passing. I'm sure there's ones that haven't come out yet that Stan's already filmed his stuff for that we're going to see him next year. Captain Marvel, uh, Endgame. Um, maybe he has a cameo in the Spider-Verse movie, which my buddy RC tells me is highly entertaining. But uh, before I end this review on Venom, I do want to show you the contents of this exclusive. This came very, very early. It was, doesn't come, It doesn't hit stores until... Tuesday of the coming week, uh, the 18th, I believe, is the street date. And this comes with the Blu ray, it comes with the DVD, and this three and three quarter inch Venom that, with the likeness of the film. Now, there was a promotion where they are selling this figure in a different packaging with only the instructions to redeem the digital version of Venom on Voodoo those are limited so if you happen to see that i highly advise picking it up leaving it carded those are going to be highly collectible there's only five thousand of those produced um uh, on this was a christmas present of mine for my darling wife she let me have it early um i'm very happy with it the figure i'm gonna leave carded i like the uh the card um he's just uh looks like Five points of articulation, arms, legs, and head. And uh, very reminiscent of the uh, Toy Biz generation, this size toys. Um, so yeah, um, for being subscribed to my channel, I am going to randomly select in the comments of this video someone to receive the digital copy code. Just make sure you're publicly subscribed. Make a comment, hashtag... We are Venom, and I will randomly pick somebody to win the digital copy since I don't have to uh, send you anything to your house. Anyone of any age can enter, and you can be international as well, not just domestic, not just intercontinental United States. So it's open to everybody, all ages, any country. If you want the digital copy of my uh, Venom, I'm giving it away just to say thanks. I am on the verge of 500 subs. I'm going to do something later on after Christmas. Well, after Christmas. Uh, while I'm getting on my feet here. I just started a new company, new job. So I'll do a better giveaway down the line. But for now, let's do the digital copy of Venom. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you have an opportunity to get this bundle, I highly suggest it. If you haven't watched the movie yet, you can rent it on Vudu. It's just five bucks. Give it a try. You'll like it. I loved it so much, I knew I wanted to own it. I wanted it in my collection. So, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next upload. Sandman out. Knock, knock, let the devil in.